right, so uh, Chase Dupree, right? Outside the Line podcast. Um, we're over here shooting an exclusive uh, podcast with one of the best athletes to actually come through Southwest High School. He's young, young though, you're a sophomore, right? So um, we're looking for big things, you know, in the next coming years, right? Um, we also are gonna have Mr. Daniel on, Mr. Dan Daniel Bennett on, uh, but what I need to know right now is basically, this gym means a lot, right? And so as I mentioned, we was in this gym maybe a week and a half ago, and it was, you know, thousands of people here to see um, Elite Eight. I'm accustomed to this gym impact every game, all right? We've had um, some amazing athletes to come through, Terry Fair, Jeff Malone, um, Eric Manuel, Doc Manuel, your, your, your dad, Joe Dupree. We had some amazing athletes to come through here, man. I mean, it's crazy, right? Not only state championships, but we also won national championships. So if you really do the history and look at the athletes that came through here, you're really among some of the best that ever come through here, right? But one of my, um, my one of my homeboys actually came through here, Sharon Wright, right? He probably frequently come through Macon. He was born and raised in Macon like everyone else. He, he specifically wants to know what does the legacy of Southwest basketball team means to you? Uh, it means a lot, you know. We gotta, as it's always, it's a, it's a, it's a lot to come from. Cause we, we've been to uh, like a long time. Yeah. So it, it like it's real good because like it's always a real good brotherhood. So it actually it's real good. Been, uh, so it's a brotherhood here. Southwest, red, white, and blue, American made, but the mascot. Like when we see this, man, it's it really it's dear to our hearts, you know. This right here, this star, and just a patriot mascot itself, it means a lot. Tell me what you expect from the star, you expect from the fans, you expect from the community, and what 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 feeling do you get when you see this red, white, and blue? Uh, you know, it, like it always give me a bubbly, but actually joint feeling every time I see the face or something. Right, uh, exactly. As fans, uh, like I feel like we should come up more because some games we did. Mm, okay. The end just be off. You know, as fans, we we, yeah. we love the energy. Like we love seeing the fans. So basically, you're saying we need to, we need to do better. Yes, as fans, we need to do better. See that Southwest Patriots, we need to do better. Even myself, we need to do better. Um, I'm kind of like a hit and miss, uh, super busy, but that's no excuse. Southwest fans, we need to do a lot better. Um, so tell me this, this last little bit. Tell me what you bring to the to, to the team. Uh, I bring a lot of um, energy and positivity. I don't like to come in here real negative because, you know, negative people, when you're negative, other people start being negative. Oh, man, I love it. I love it. That, that, that's leadership, quality, um, and that's what we need, quality. Positive leadership with the Southwest Patriots. The Chase Dupree, Podcast. thanks for allowing right. me to come over. And um, you're here because of uh, the amazing things you've done over the last basketball season. Okay. Now we know Chase played football. Okay. Uh, you probably should be playing some football also. <laughs> I know because we get on you. He has to. But um, I was happy to, to hear that you only hit one senior on the team. And how you end up making it, then the other guys didn't, or no one of the senior, seniors went out. Uh, I feel like my work ethic, really. I was like the mindset that I was having. Right. I wanted to be there. I wanted to win. Okay. You know, to help young guys out. So, so how many other seniors went out? Uh, what, what, one. One other senior. Okay. Daniel Bennett, right? Yes, sir. Am I correct. All right. One other senior went out. Was he good or you? Well, he's pretty good. We won't talk about it. Yeah. On part. yeah, he might see it, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, Chase Dupree, right? Uh, you said this young little little young punk coming through, right? You having to hold his hand a little bit, right? Yeah. Um, tell me, tell me what uh, Chase brings to the game of basketball, because we know that um, 
Well, they say I, I hadn't been out there. They say you can throw the football also. Uh, I seen some highlights and stuff like that. But tell me what Chase bring bring to the game. Uh, let's walk this way. Feel like I mean he's a, he, he's a pretty good person mm -hmm. off the court and on the court. Um, what he brings to the team is uh he's he's a good teammate. Uh, when we need to score the ball, he scored the ball. Uh, when kind of tough situations, you know, you can come through, you pull it through, okay. help us out. Chase, what, what do you think about that, man? Um, have, having one senior on the team, right? Yes, having sir. one senior on the team and be, being able to lean on him and say, like, dude, I need you to show up. I need you to step it up. Because you, you're the senior, like, pull us through. Yes, sir. Like, have you ever had to get on this guy right here? Oh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> He's a pretty big, pretty, pretty big. big guy. Yes, sir. Um, so tell me what's the impact of Mr. Daniel uh, as a senior and uh, being on the basketball team? Uh, as a senior, um, you know, he always been more developed than us because he's a senior. So he during games, we probably be nervous, but he never nervous because he'd been there before he's a senior. Uh -huh. And uh, he did the things not most people do. He take charge to the things that most people, big man, definitely not going to do. I noticed he was pretty aggressive. He came in that last game. Mm -hmm. uh, he was coming off the bench. I was like, first of all, I'm asking, like, why is this dude just coming off the bench? First mm -hmm. of all, well, that's another day, right? Mm -hmm. But um, I was seriously like, okay, this dude just hit six points in a row. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He touched the ball. He dribbled up the court. Big guy. You know, handled the rock, right? Uh -huh. Then he, you know, posting folks up and spinning mm -hmm. and hitting off the glass, right? I that's saw all that. Right, but I think if we would lean on Daniel a little bit more, you know, mm -hmm. we probably could have got that game, you mm -hmm. know, yes, sir. because they didn't do anything uh, specific, uh, different than you guys. Yes, you know, they hit the three, right? They played hard. They ran the court. I think most of those guys were seen as the season developed into um, a better season or a good season, or maybe you could tell me uh, the season was. Pretty nice at the beginning, and then it continued, or did it develop into a good season? Me first. Yeah, uh, it started off pretty rough. You know, we um we had to face some adversity. We lost one of our brothers, so it, oh, yeah. it started off all right. But on the court, we got to cuff him, so we still played good on the court. Yeah. And as we as we played the game, we got better as a team, so we developed as a better team gotcha. than we was at the beginning. What What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I don't know what he said. You know, we had in the beginning we did hit a couple of adversity. We lost one of our brothers, you know, that was kind of tough. The basketball team takes a good coach, right? Tell me who's your coach and what did he bring to the table to help you prepare for this season? Mr. Dang? I feel like he uh he brought a lot of discipline. Right. And uh even off the court, you know, he tried to keep well he did keep us in our books and uh kept disciplining on us in school. Man. Yeah. And in his school, you know, he brought a lot of good and positive, you know, to the team. Right. You know, kept us up even through everything that we had been through. Right, 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 right. So tell me this: um, was he tough on you guys? Like, yeah. for, us, for us running and gunning, real, real tough. You real know, tough. sometimes you need that tough coach, yeah, to uh, get you to the next level. Keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. Let you guys get in there. Right, so, so today we have a, a couple guests actually today. We have two guests here today. We have uh, basketball players from Southwest High School uh, here in middle Georgia. Uh, one of the schools I attended uh, way back in the day. Okay. So this is Outside the Line podcast with Lee Hughes uh, from TNT Sports and Fitness. Uh, today, I have my man, Daniel Bennett. Uh, he's a senior at Southwest High School. And I also have my man, Chase, Chase Dupree. He's a sophomore at Southwest High School. These guys has, has done some amazing things over the last few weeks. Um, they actually reached the... Elite Eight for the yeah. first time in, what, 10, 15, 20 years, mm -hmm. maybe? Yes, sir. And they had a big crowd to come out to see these guys perform. 
Um, so like I said, my name is Lee Hughes. Uh, this is Outside Line Podcast. And I'm going to let these guys kind of introduce themselves so we can get kind of get started here. All right. We'll start with the senior. We'll start with the senior, Mr. Daniel. Tell us about yourself and, um, you know, uh, just what kind of experience you had at Southwest. Um, I had a pretty good experience, I feel like. I mean, doing, doing the bad and the good, you know. Okay, bad, I, good, bad, it, and it, ugly? Yeah. You had it all? Yeah. <laughs> It was kind of tough. Mm -hmm. Got through it, though. Still trying to get through it. Okay. okay. It's going pretty good, though. That's what's up, man. What you got, Chase? Uh, Introduce yourself, first of all. I'm um, Chase Dupree. Uh, so far, you know, I'm on a sophomore. So, so far, I'm having a good a good um, time in Southwest. You know, that's why I keep telling the brothers they're real good at Southwest. That's right. one of my brothers right there. I'll, we'll always be pretty good. Uh, we always stay together. We always stay together. That's about it. Okay, that's what's up, man. So, so what I'm hearing is, is that um, brotherhood um, allow these guys to excel and get better throughout the year. Um, I know even last year, as a freshman and as a junior, uh, they didn't accomplish what they've accomplished. But now uh, they're looking for bigger and better things. And with that being said. Um, Tell us about your coach, um, Chase. Tell us about your coach. And who? what's your coach's name again? Coach Arnett. Uh, our coach, like, he, he's a very good coach. Like, unlike some coaches, he, he, he'll, he'll he going to keep real with you even when he is. It don't, it don't matter what time it is. Um, right. <laughs> he'll, he'll keep it real. Um, In the hallway or on the basketball court. On, on the basketball right. He's going to keep it real. Do something bad, he's going to tell you. Do something right, he also, also going to mm -hmm. call me. That's what's up, man. Yes, sir. So what kind of what kind of um, scheme or what kind of um, uh, basketball plays is it plays now? Yes, sir. What kind of actual plays do y'all run? Do you have uh, a specific play for yourself? Yeah, I have a couple. <laughs> okay, actually. tell me, got, tell me what you got, man. Yeah, I got a couple of. Uh, I say one of my favorites is a. Uh, it's a play called Patriot. <laughs> the Patriot. Yeah. So the actual name is the Patriot. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's called Patriot. Well, who, who named it first of all? Uh, Believe my coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he come on with all that stuff. Okay, okay. And so, yeah. what are you doing it with the Patriots? Um, so, Patriot. so Chase holler out the Patriots. Who, who who called it? Oh, uh, whatever guard it? now, whatever guard bringing up the court. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know that dude's uh, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. He got some ball, he got some handling skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you know, uh, basically just a little one on one yeah. and give me give me some down uh, points in the uh, down in the post. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Any specific plays? You like Chase? Uh, well, I don't. I just I don't really have that many plays for. I just I just play through the game. Probably my favorite play is probably uh, mm, probably Gator. Mm. So when I'm thinking Gator, I'm thinking like an alligator. Mm. All right. You know what I'm saying? Bite somebody. You know, chomping down. Mm. So what are you what are you saying when when the when the Gator go off? Uh, when you running that Gator. What's what's going on? Uh, so basically, I have to pass it and then run. It's a lot. It's really a lot going on. The person got to run through, and I got to come and get the ball off another screen uh -huh. and another screen. So, so there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Some uh, so I know you guys know some Reggie Miller and Steph Curry mm -hmm. type right. stuff. Yeah, running through, um, getting picks, yes, running off picks and stuff like that. Okay, yes, that's what's up, man. Um, I know, uh. A good friend of mine and and myself, we, we came to the game, and and so first of all, you know, I attended Southwood High School and graduated. Uh, won't tell you guys, but it's been a long time. <laughs> um, back in '89, graduate '89, and um, I remember having a packed house, you know, every game. So the mm -hmm. first game of the season. Second game of the season, fifth game, tenth game, playoff, first round, second round, state. It was packed. And I think I was telling you that we couldn't go home, mm -hmm. right? We couldn't go home because if we went home, we wouldn't get in the game. They don't allow so many people in the game. Um, And so now the kids get to go home and come back to a game. Mm -hmm. If we went home back in the day, you would not oh, get in that game. Mm -hmm. You had to go ahead and get in line or get your ticket. Right. 
How did it feel, Mr. Senior? Because I know you – how many years you played? Uh, all four. All four. So all four years compared to this last Elite Eight, how did it feel to actually have the fans to, to step up and support you? Uh, not going to lie, I was kind of nervous at first. That's what's up. Yeah, that really – yeah, I was kind of nervous. Who you know don't get nervous, man? Nobody. Nobody. Everybody get nervous, right? Even I get nervous. Believe yeah, that. but I kind of, I kind of expected right. the the big old crowd and all the fans and everything. To be honest, right? But yeah, I was still kind of nervous a little bit. But as the game was going and going and going, mm -hmm. you know, I kind of start trying to pick it up a little bit. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Trying to do a little do something, a little do something. That's what's up, man. What about yourself, Chase? What do you, what did, what did you think about uh, the? The thousands of people that was actually at the game. Uh, it really brought joy to me because um, we were down what like fifteen. They right. still chanting like we was going. We don't we don't get them chant. They yeah, still yeah. cheering and everything. When we were down fifteen, so it really tried to motivate us to come back. You know, people that don't use the cheer still is cheering like exactly. It's re right. real good. And it starts with the school, man. It starts with um, the principal. It starts with the athletic director, which is. Your dad. Um, we're gonna get into that a little bit there, um, but you know, one of the things Chase mentioned to me that we need to get more um, fans to the game. Uh, Chase feel like he can perform a little bit better if he had someone to kind of uh, go between. You know, in other words, if he had somebody on his side like the fans. Or you know, uh, going against Columbia was it Columbia or Columbus? Columbia. Columbia, Columbia, and any other school like Central, Northeast, or anything like that. If he had some fans, some true fans out there, he could probably you know turn that thing up a little bit more. Yeah. And so the goal next year is to get more fans in there, right? Yes, sir. So we'll make sure we send this out to to get more fans, right? Yes, sir. Um, tell me about your dad, man. I know. Uh, most people know your dad, uh, Joe Dupree. We actually went to school together. He came out a little bit later than me, I think, 92, maybe. Um, don't want to tell his age. <laughs> so just, the, just it. But uh, he was an excellent player. He, he was a quarterback, actually played uh, basketball and baseball. You yes, know, he was a three-man, maybe another different sport. I'm not sure. But tell me, uh, what's the, what was the impact on uh, your dad uh, towards basketball and Football, we're gonna get into, right? Tell me about that. Uh, you know, as a dad, you know, it's way more hard, especially when he sees everything, because he's always there. Right, right. A little lefty there, a little righty there, so he sees <laughs> everything. So, right, right, right. He's always hard, but it, you know, as, as when he's there, mm -hmm. it's better because he can tell me more stuff that I'm doing wrong when I'm what I'm, what I'm doing right. right. You know, on the football field, it's way, ooh, it's way. You know, he's never. You know, we gotta stay on the football field, but at home. Yeah. We're gonna talk about it at home because if it's going to football field, it happened on the football field. Okay, so that's what's up. Yes, sir. So, um, so we're gonna get you on the football field. Yeah, definitely. So um, it's very good because you know, you know, I have to be very coachable. So I have to understand that I have to be very coachable. Yeah. Going, come from, going from my dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that, that can be very difficult, you know, yes, um, having your dad to go home with you and still continue to coach you. And yes, so sir. you guys agree, let's leave it at the game. Yes, sir. So once we get home, you know, we just kind of enjoying the home life yes sir um someone in your um family mom dad cousin uh who inspired you to actually um execute in basketball uh actually i have a uh i have three sisters okay my second hey, oldest sister. not well two of them do my youngest sister uh -huh. and my second oldest sister Mm -hmm. She she used to play basketball before she had an injury or whatever, but really that's probably how I say one of my um, motivations or somebody that inspired me because she keeps me you know before every game she will send me a message oh, or she will tell nice. me yeah you know she will tell me you go out there you, you do you know you just give me a little speech so yeah she kind of motivated me. What's her name? Uh, Nashe. Nashe. Yeah. Shut up, to Nashe. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um. So we we know you play basketball. Um, we outside the line, you know, is 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 not just basketball. It's what you do outside the lines. All right. And so being in school, 
um, with your academics and your mannerism, how you carry yourself outside and inside the school. Um, how are you guys doing with your grades and your academics? Tell me about that. Uh, I say I'm kind of in between, you know. It's something that I can make up, you know. There's, it ain't too bad to it, like, you know, right. it's bad, bad. But, you know, it's just... Some work. Some, know, work, some yeah. work need to be done. Yeah. So, guess what? Same here. I found that if you study just a smidgen more, mm -hmm. not a lot more, a smidgen more every day, not every other day, but every day. So maybe five minutes more a day instead of two hours one day, right? If you go two hours one day and then you skip two weeks, you hadn't done anything. If you schedule for you, you if you uh, train or if you study for five minutes or 18 minutes or 20 minutes every day, right? You get so much further, right? Just imagine picking up something every day, every day. Every day, just like your phone, man. I didn't know it was it worked like this. Then all mm -hmm. of a sudden, you're using that button every day. All of a sudden, a year later, you're using that same button because you're accustomed to it, right? Tell me about your grades. What are you doing out there, um, uh, Jace? I'm I'm doing pretty good. I think I have like a three point eight, three point nine right now. So I'm doing pretty good. That's pretty good, man. Yeah, but you know. It comes that my teachers, my teachers really hard at me, especially because I'm an athlete. They always stay very on top of me, and I really appreciate them for doing that. That's what's up, man. Yes, Three point nine ain't nothing to um, you know blink our eyes at. You know we got to look at that. That's yes, right. Um, any particular school we're looking at uh, attending? No, sir. Okay, just kind of let things fall where they may. Yes, sir. Good, good. What about yourself? Any schools you looking at? Um, or or you know military is out there. You know, yeah. sometimes, a lot of times, uh, athletes come over here and they'll say, hey, I thought about going into the military because of my, my family members or something like that, right? Yeah. Right. What are your thoughts? Right now, I'm still kind of picky about it. I yeah, don't yeah. much really know where I want to settle at yet. Okay. That's what's up, man. So, um, I'm going to take it on all the way outside the line. We see you got these holes in your pants, right? <laughs> yeah. We see you got the J's on, right? Yes, sir. Tell me how you drip, man. Tell me what you normally wear on a daily basis. We want to yeah. go outside this stuff, man. I don't need I'm actually out of my comfort zone. You, out of, you yeah. out of your comfort zone? Yeah. I you don't, don't wear, need. you don't use it like this? No. What you wear? I just be chilling like joggers. <laughs> joggers and stuff. Yeah. So you put some jeans on for the Outside the Line podcast. Yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, man? What's up? Uh, the same thing. I just do the wear joggers and yeah. a jacket because I like to be comfy. Is you know, it because of yeah. playing ball all the time or what? Uh, that you know, in, in jeans. Yeah. Knees, but knees be bad. <laughs> That's why I like to wear joggers. You got bad knees face. already. Yeah. Come on, man. You got to work on those knees, right? Yes, sir. All right. So, do y'all have any um like uh, siblings or anything like that? Uh, cousins? Yeah, tell I'm me, gonna... tell me about it. mom. We're gonna talk about mom too, so they super important, right? So we got to talk about mom, talk about sisters and brothers and stuff like that. Yes, sir. Um. What about how impactful are your mom? And you say you had two sisters. No, I, had, I had three sisters. You had three sisters, but one yeah. particular one put that, that good stuff in your ear, right? Yeah. Tell me um, about about your parents or your mom, um, something that that's impactful for a school or, or basketball. Uh, my mom. Uh, mom, she's real, she's real hard on me, mm -hmm. I feel like. She stay on to me about everything, really, <laughs> right. literally. Uh, <laughs> you think that's yeah. gonna stop? Uh, nah, it's not gonna stop. Nah, it's not. She want the it's best not. out of you. Yeah, she do. Yeah, uh, yeah, but stay on me. You know, right. she loves me. You right. Know, she try to do the best that what she can do for right. her mother. So that's what's up, man. Yeah. We got, we got to, we got to, we got to, we got to praise moms. Yeah. You know, I, I lost my mom. You know, uh, back in October. I'm telling you. It's a different story, right? You take yes, care of your parents, yes, sir. right? Don't talk back. They know they know what's best for you. I promise. It may not look like it right now, but they know exactly what you need. Exactly what you need. Not kind of soda, not almost. They know exactly what you need, right? So pay attention to your parents, man. They they gonna put you in the right place.
If anybody has your back, it's your parents. Parent. You know? Tell about your parents, man. Tell them about um you can you can talk a little more about Joe, um, your coach coach Bree. But we want to talk about mom and maybe a sister, brother. Uh my mom, you know. Mm -hmm. She's one of the hard ones, but she's more of the she always put my ear, you know, just student athlete first yard to me student. So she always jumped up my work every day. She tell me what I need to do, my assignments and everything. Yeah. So I appreciate her for that. You know, she showed me a lot of love. Oh, you know, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mom's boy, so. Okay, okay. And uh, I, I can see myself being that too. Yeah. So. Yes, There's sir. nothing wrong with that. My brother, you know, my brother. Uh, how, how old is your brother? 25. 25, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yes, sir. Um, my brother, uh, I remember when I was at one of his games mm -hmm. and um, he tried to do your step, my, my favorite move. <laughs> And he, he like tore. Oh, so you down with the Euro? Yes, I do okay. the Euro step a lot. Okay, okay. And like he did it and he tore the ACL doing it. Yeah, that's why I started doing the Euro step a lot. He did it and he planted it and he tore the ACL. Oh, snap. And then still after that. Snap. <laughs> still, <laughs> still after that, like yeah. the next month, he was in the gym in a wheelchair, still training me to be the better person. Really? Yes, sir. So I, I always got to preach up. He sent me so paragraphs. Bro, so bro. I see me progressing everything every day. He watch my games online while he at college and everything. Hey, okay. What's your brother's name? Uh, Nick. Okay. Nick, man. Hey, shout out to the big bros, right? Yes, sir. Big bro. And you say you had a sister? Uh, yes, Chloe. Chloe. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about her. Uh, she Chloe. younger. Yeah, younger. Okay. But okay. Act, act so you older. have to be big brother then. Yes, but she act like she's a big sister. She's the big sister. <laughs> she's the grumpy one. All right. She, she, so she run the house. Yeah, she runs. it. And you know, my dad he loved her. <laughs> so I'm thinking he got the, she got him wrapped. Yeah, wrapped. Dad can't do nothing. Nothing. Okay, okay. Tell me about, tell me about your mom. She, I know you said she, she's one of the real ones. Um, but what ha what's the impact on basketball uh, for your mom, from your mom? Um, I know, I know you're being coached a lot with your dad and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. um, tell me how she impacts basketball. Uh, she, as I, as I say, she always tells me, like, I got to get up and go run. I got to do all this. She try to she try to keep me up. And she keeps telling me I got to keep on working, keep on working, keep on working. I want to be one of the best. So she's the tough one. Yeah, she's the tough one. She keeps you grinding. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. That's what's up, man. We're going to stay um, we're gonna stay outside the line. Um, and so uh, there's plenty of girls walking around Southwoods High School, man. Um, how the ladies treat me out, man? <laughs> huh? This, this is outside the lines. You gotta, hey, you can whisper it, man. <laughs> Go ahead, Lee. How the ladies treat y'all? Talk, talk to me, senior. Mrs. Bennett. Ladies treat you okay? I mean, I, I, I guess. I mean, okay. Yeah. I don't really too much get along with. You don't, you don't deal with them yeah, too much? Nah. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Sometimes when girls get in trouble, yeah. Right. What about you, Jay? Uh, he I'm, copped out. He copped out on. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I just I don't do too much ladies. I just stick follow one girl okay. all the time. You know. That's what's up. I don't like to do all the ladies too much drama. You know. Yes, sir. They real messy out right there. But they they like they they even though like they might not like it that much, they still gonna support you at the end of the day. Yeah. Because you go to Southwest, so they they treat no. good. So so the prom have y'all y'all go to the prom? You been to the pro? Nah. Why you ain't been to the pro? Wait, no, I ain't been to the pro. Oh, you ain't been old enough to go, right? No, I, I you got going this? I, no, I ain't going this year. What's up with that, man? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's important to go to stuff like that, man. Yeah. Memories. You're right. You went to the pro? No, nah, I ain't go. I ain't go last year. But you, I plan on going this year. Though. You plan on going? You got you, you all that girl? Yeah. <laughs> what she say? <laughs> yeah. She said yeah. Yeah. So you said? Yeah. What color y'all gonna do? Hey, hey, nah, I, ain't, I can't. I can't. I ain't saying that right now. <laughs> oh, you <yeah, well>, nobody. <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's what's up. Y'all want to be the only one. Yeah. Get your stuff together, man. Look good out there. Yes, sir. Show my man how to do it. <laughs> you got to pass this stuff down here. All right. Young blood, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. So, um, you know, uh, I know Columbia, Columbus. Columbia, Columbia. Uh, came down and uh, honestly, they, they put a whooping on y'all, mm -hmm. right? But you still had the fans. Am I correct? Um, was it one particular guy 
that you just couldn't hold, that that was just had the ice on you. You could, mm -hmm. if it wasn't for him, don't get, don't call no name because we want to give them props, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and, and and if it was, tell me what you could have done different now that it's over. Well, I want to say is a person like the main person that probably couldn't handle. I don't know his number. But probably the guard, he was very shifty and fast. Yeah. But who I think the the most like person that was um making the most impact is a big man. He kept right. smacking out everything, like kept oh, trying to block everything. So you had to put a high on the glass. <laughs> and then if you if you if you uh get over, you smack the glass real hard. So either way the goal get jiggling gotcha. and everything. And so he was making a bigger impact. I got you, I got you. Um <clears throat> once again, man, like the legacy of Southwest High School. Is more than you guys can probably even think of, to be honest with you. And you, you probably hear, like, why do people always talking about Southwest? Da, 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 da. Like, it, but, dude, it, for years, uh, you might have some haters in this podcast that. <laughs> but Southwest was the Mecca. And what I mean by that, it was the largest school in the nation. So when we graduated, it was 500 seniors. Mm. Mm. How many scenes y'all have now? 122? About, about 80. <laughs> it was 500. 500 seniors. Just seniors. We're not talking about juniors. We're not talking about sophomores. We're talking about freshmen. So just imagine how many people in the school, mm -hmm. right? And I know a bunch of our fans, they want to know about the cafeteria, right? So in the cafeteria, back in the day, we used to have these cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard anybody ever talk to y'all about these cinnamon rolls? Mm -hmm. So McAvoy A, right? You probably know that building either. McAvoy A served the cinnamon rolls mm. that everyone in the school had to have whenever they served them cinnamon rolls. Do y'all have cinnamon rolls at school with me? Oh, sir. Dude, we had the best cinnamon rolls ever. And they cooked them from scratch. We had homemade food. Mm. I don't know what y'all get now. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Either. I'm sorry. It's probably, it's probably some bad stuff. Bad. We, that cinnamon was like this. It was probably like thirty-five cent. Thirty-five cent. 35 cent. <laughs> yeah. And it was delicious, full of butter, <laughs> butter, butter and sweets. Mm -hmm. It was delicious, man. But also, we um um, we're not going back to the legacy. Of Southwest, you and I, we talked about um, the national team, like Terry Fair, uh, which you guys need to make sure you Google. Mm -hmm. Jeff Malone, you need to make sure you Google. All went to the NBA, played Norm Nixon, Miles Patrick. We hadn't even got in the 80s yet, you know. Uh, we had tremendous athletes to come through, right? That's right. Um, Eric Manuel, Doc Manuel, Sharon Wright. Um, and I mentioned to you that Sharon Wright specifically um, want to know, and I want to get this from Bennett this time. Which, what does the legacy of Southwest mean to you? I know it can be a little iffy because of not really seeing it, but you might have to go pull back into the history of that. But how does how does it feel to have that? That patriot on your chest, that SW, it shouldn't mean a lot. Yeah, it What's really does. Feel to you? It really does. Uh, feel like you know I don't really too much know about it, you mm -hmm. know. But sure. as much as I hear about it and mm -hmm. see about it, you know, I feel like it really does mean a lot to me because you know exactly. we're carrying on that legacy and doing what we got to do. So exactly, who who's your favorite player? In the NBA, uh, right now, right now I say KD. KD, okay, that's what's up. Who you got, Jay? Uh, Paul George. Paul George, he got the little step back. Mm -hmm. He just be off and on to me, man. He do be off. He's on. nice. But back in the he'll back. give you twenty, but it'll seem like he had an off night. Mm -hmm. So in order for George to be nice, he got to give you thirty-five. And so I think that's the issue a lot of times. You know, we end up with uh, 15 or 20 points, and people are like, oh, they didn't do much. Mm -hmm. But really, that's a lot. Especially in the NBA. That's a lot. 
especially in the NBA. Exactly. Um, what did you What do you think it took for Paul George to get to where he got? To? Uh, a lot of work and a whole lot of dedication to the game. Like he probably most most of the time of the day he probably was in the gym or uh, working out. Right. What about yourself? What do you think? Uh, same thing. Work hard. Uh, working harder than others, you know. Staying in the gym. Staying educated. and you got to be doing what they got to do to get where they at now. Exactly. Exactly. Um, let me see y'all phones, man. What kind of phones y'all? Y'all got your phones with y'all? Uh, I don't know. I Which one of y'all got a drawer? Y'all nah. got a drawer? <laughs> nah. Y'all don't use drawers? Nah. I figured y'all had an iPhone. <laughs> I figured that. I was going to ask y'all a question like, who's one was better? iPhone. I'm going to skip that. <laughs> nah, I really rock with Android, though. They're not bad, yeah, though. I bet you do. One last thing you had one. One last thing you had one. Have you ever had a droid? Yeah, I actually, my first iPhone was, I think, actually ninth grade. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so, what you're saying is, prior to that, you had droids. Yeah. So you came up in the night. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, James? All iPhones. All uh, iPhone, but I used to lose my iPhone every like two weeks. So I had to stay without an iPhone. Yeah. I used to use my, my mama phone. It? Yeah, I used to, I stay used to lose my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to stay on my, my, my yeah, phone. I got no cases phone. on your phone, man. Mm -hmm. But my phone used to be dead. Is you probably got a crack in your phone? Who got a crack? Me. Yeah, See phone. that? Put a case on that thing, man. <laughs> The case on there, for real. I actually be taking mine off. I don't even know why I didn't take it off. Yeah. You know, uh, the community uh, that we live in, uh, Southwest, uh, West Side kind of area, uh, not West Side High School, but Southwest uh, Macon. Um, uh, over the years, we found that uh, Macon, Bill County has, has this horrible. Uh, rap going on um everyone thinks that this is a, not a great place to live or a great place to uh bring your kids or even even your grandparents and i think um over the last couple of years we've gotten um some new people in charge and they're building up and i feel that making this a lot safer I feel like um the opportunity for making it grow is now. And I think you guys have a a big impact, can make a big impact on making making uh making build better. That's what we call it now, making build better. What are your thoughts on how people see making and what uh, can we do about we're gonna start with the senior again. What and what can we do about that? Oh, you ask the question again. What What do you think? Um, how do you think people see making? What What are they thinking when they come through making? Or what their, you know, their um, thoughts of making? And then, if it's good or bad, you know, what can we do to change it, or should we just leave it like it is? I mean, I think I really feel like people that, I mean, you actually have to be and live in making to know making right you know i know a couple of people outside of making it just think that making it you know there's a this low down you know a bunch of bull crap but right you know it really chill so to me it's yeah, really yeah, chill yeah. i mean that's what I, i've been trying to tell people the same yeah. thing like to me know, have bad ideas about me i mean we do have our our bads and mm -hmm. you know a lot of stuff but to me it's real chill, real chill. You, you grew up in born and raised here nah, nah. where are you from michigan I felt that. Felt something different. <laughs> what about yourself, Chase? What do you think about making, man? What can we do to make it better? Uh, or, or do you think it's on its way? What are your thoughts? Uh, uh, same thing he said. You know, you have to make it not that bad. How people think we think it is. You know, we live in it. It's it's a regular people. You know, people even the bad people don't mess you for real. They just, they you know they know. They're like they, ain't, they don't have nothing against you, so they're not gonna do nothing to you. They just people are chill, a good little vibe place. People mm -hmm. think it's bad when it's not. Um, mm, it's getting on its way. 
it is. Mm -hmm. But we got to keep pushing them to get it that way. It's not going to do it in a snap of a finger. Right. We got to keep on trying to get it into a, a better uh, reputation. Mm -hmm. And so you do some community work, am I correct? Uh -huh. What is that? What kind of community work do you do? Uh, I gave the homeless food and I worked at, um, in the summer I worked at a, a um, what's the word for it? A milestones camp for kids. Yeah. To help them, it, even after some practice, I'll go over there and uh, or before I go over there and help them uh, do like I clean the stuff and help them read books and all that stuff. Okay, so you read books to the kids? Yes, sir. Oh, man, that's major. Let's stop. Keep that up. Yes, sir. Any any community work you doing? Uh, I don't know, not really. Mm -hmm. no. I know, um, you know, my man Chase said he can use some help. Mm -hmm. that doing some community work. So you got extra, you got, you got some extra person now. <laughs> So, you know, my thought on uh, making making better, it, it's it's on you guys. You know, uh, the guys with the gray beards, you know, we're, we're really staying home. We're not doing a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're not in the streets, you know. Uh, but it's up to the, the young community, the young studs, to come through and make making better. Mm -hmm. And so, in other words, I'm looking at you guys like you really need to put making on your back and make it better. It's up to you. It's not up to us. Now, if you leave, you go to college or you go into the military or anything like that, right? Always reach back. Say, hey, let me go back to my hometown. And make sure they're good, right? Um, so I applaud you for uh, working in the community and uh, helping make it get better, you know? Um, so you brought up food, like what kind of foods y'all like, man, I, since we outside the line, <laughs> what kind of, what's some of your favorite foods? Yeah. What do you uh, got? Man? Uh, I ain't really, I, I can't even say I really got any kind of favorite food. I, you know how to cook? A little bit. Man, you can't. A little <laughs> bit, just a little bit. <laughs> but I ain't, yeah, I ain't really, is it what I'm cooking? Well, yeah, what you cooking, man? Noodles? No, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I mean that's easy to cook. It but, is, yeah. You know, yeah, I can get in the kitchen, you know, cook a little something. Okay, okay, okay. What you like? Pick what you a pizza guy? You uh, said Michigan. Yeah, right? I Where like you from Michigan. Yeah. Let's see, Michigan. Right? They like pizza. They like pizza and uh, but what I can't, I can't like pizza. Yeah, kind of, kind of a pizza. I used to, I used to like it a real a lot, a lot when I was younger. Okay. It kind of grew out of it, and I just. I just eat what I can eat. Really eat a lot. There, yeah. That's what's up, man. What about you, man? What kind of what's your favorite food? Uh, anything my grandma's cook. <laughs> so grandma nice. hooking you up. Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. Got to take care of the grandmothers. That's um, right. and so um, you guys have some photos, some pictures, right? I want you to hold those pictures up. Those pictures, show them yeah. to the camera. And um, look like uh, Bennett is on the free throw line. Right? Yeah. Is that free throw? <laughs> yeah. Where, 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 when was this? How long ago was this? This is uh, this is when we played. I think this is our Sweet Sixteen game. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I'm not too sure. Okay. Yeah. Just by looking at them, do you feel pretty confident right there? Uh, yeah, I mean, actually think I think I missed this shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I actually okay. think I missed this shot. Right. But yeah, uh, I don't even know what I was smiling about when I seen this picture get posted. I was really, I, I was really lost. Like, how did they get that? Yeah, I ain't <laughs> know what I was smiling at. Right, right, right. right. Let me see. What? what let's see. Your oh, that's a nice jumper, boy. You up two different color shoes. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? What's What's up with that, Jay? Man, you elevated. Uh, well, he got good form, man. Who was that against? Uh, Northeast. Okay. Yeah, I, I um, it's a very difficult picture. Uh, I, I remember this picture though. I did a um, a, a hezzy, a uh, step back fake hezzy, mm -hmm. and then he kind of recovered. And number four right here. Right, right, right. He he came. And I knew I was gonna be the drive, so I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull up. Yeah, yeah. I pulled up, and then you think you drained it? No. You didn't drain it. <laughs> no, I missed it. Oh man, I don't know if I would have told anybody. I missed it. Looks I did, good. I definitely missed that one. Right? You definitely missed that one. 
Definitely. So, um, to both of you guys, I mean, I know you've done some amazing things over the last season. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Tell me, uh, what did you do this season, right, mm -hmm. to help you get to the Elite Eight? And tell me, what will you do beyond the Elite Eight or beyond this moment to prepare yourself for the next level? Because we can't just stay here. We got to get better. What are you doing to get better? For that to drain, what are you doing? Uh, so right now, this season, um, I did put up a lot of shots. Um, I did work out, but not how I should have. I should have been working out about every day. Mm -hmm. So, but in the future, uh, uh, they just got me some protein shakes and some vitamins and all that stuff. Okay. And they're starting to uh, meal prep me and stuff. And you, and I got to come see you, actually. That's what's up. And um, I got I to gotta meal prep and, you know, gain some more weight. Okay. And get in the gym way, way, way more. So what's the time frame we're looking at? Because um, we got football coming up. That's right. We still need to talk about football a little bit. Yes, sir. What, what's the time frame? So, because the spring starts, man, it's spring like next month, right? Next yes, week or so. But you, like time frame, like yeah. As far as you know, you, you need to start like yesterday, mm -hmm. right? And so we got to figure out a time to get you in here consistently for months, even though spring practice is going on. Yes, sir. You know, so we'll figure out we'll figure all that stuff out. Yes, sir. Okay? Now with these pictures here. Okay, um, we get you to sign these pictures. Okay, yes, sir. Um, so we'll go over to the table, and you'll sign uh, your name on the on the picture, and we'll add you to what we call the wall of fame, outside the line wall of fame. Right now, it's on the table, but um, eventually we'll have it back on the wall, and you'll yeah. be able to see some of the great athletes that's come through. Uh, we don't just have anybody on here. We do our homework. We ask questions, like what kind of person you are. You know what have you brought to the table um if you didn't bring anything to the table even though you was only singing you wouldn't have been on the podcast right yes, if your dad um is joe dupree don't make, get you on the podcast yes, sir. it's like who who is chase you know who is daniel yes, that's what gets you on the podcast and always remember that you know what can you do to get better got to get better every day every day you can get better let's go to the table and uh Get you to go first, Chase. And just lay it right there. Okay. We good if I just do my gym to my official. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. That's what I put it up. Whatever you want. That's your that's your picture. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Now, do y'all know any of these these athletes? Uh, I know him. This is uh Howard. Yes, sir. Got Howard. I know him. I know him. You know, know uh, him. Xavier. Uh, What's I think so. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I know him. I know him. I know him. Strafford. My oh, man. I think I know him. I know I her. Everybody. Oh no. Who won the Robins? Um. Big Burley, right? Yes, sir. And we're gonna know who that is too. DJ. I'm sure you know DJ. Darren Willis. And I think that might be it. I think I know some of them. I got to see their their profile. Okay. I probably know everybody on here though. Probably <laughs> everybody on here. Okay. Okay. What about yourself? You know anybody? Then I don't know nobody about right here. Yeah, um, Leo. Yeah. Little green. So yeah, that was right last there. year when he actually they actually won the state uh championship last year. I think they got booted out like final four. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. so that's a that's an awesome kid, man. That's him. He did a great podcast for us. This one this is a rapper. You know, he came in and rapped a little bit for He used to play baseball. But his name is DK OMX. That's right. And uh he's at Bam U right now. So he's, he's entertaining and stuff like that. Family. And uh, he's looking to be a, a doctor. That's yes, him. Good stuff, guys.
Oh yeah, we got the USA. We got the USA tuning. Good stuff. Fight for the Phillies. Actually, throwing up the Phillies. Mm -hmm. Drake from Macon. Both of these from Macon. Macon. Warner Robins. Macon. Here. Macon. Here. Uh, Warner Robins. Macon. 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 Macon, Rutland, Pound for Pound, he's played five sports. Yeah. Uh, uh, Macon, Jones County, uh, Peace County. That's a good stuff here. What was one of the defining moments in your basketball career that says, hey, I want to do this moving forward? Uh, I like, say, what happened? Like, oh, man, man, I love this game. I need to keep playing. Like, when was that? If you want me to be honest, uh, Coach Q, our coach. Mm. Yeah, I say that he really, uh, at first, I was really giving up on it. Right. Coming into high school after my ninth grade year. So, yeah, when uh, he got a hold of me, actually, uh, he had to come find me. So, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, he pulled me, uh, to good, <clears throat> took good care of me, uh, worked me, you know. Yeah, man. So, yeah. The coach. Sound like a good coach, man. Find a good coach to stick with. Him. What about yourself, man? What, what define, what moment said, hey, man, I, I, I want to do this, you know? Uh, my brother. Um, uh, I see him uh make somebody fall. Huh? I see him make somebody fall. Oh, he crossed him. Yeah, he made him fall. Okay. And as, since then, I always had a back to my hand trying to do the same thing he tried to do. Oh, okay. Man, I tell you what, ain't nothing like big brothers. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. So we're gonna dig into football a little bit, man. That's Tell right. us about your football career, man. What are you What are you been doing? Tell us about your stats. Uh, so you throwing the ball out there? Yes, sir. What's up with that? Uh, I think I threw like two thousand five hundred or something. Okay. Um, you know, I definitely because my line, my, my routes, he is my all my coaches. Yeah. Um, especially my office coordinator. You know, he's young, do hard, but he's sure good. Um, that's that's the more harder sport to me. The football. It's more harder. Uh, you got to be able to read, and it's a lot of people coming at you, and a lot of them don't <laughs> like you. <laughs> Especially the angry ones. The one that got angry issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them the hard ones right there. The ends. Mm. They come up the middle. I hate ends. <laughs> Can't stand them. You got to get some good linemen, man. Yes, you got to go to that school and find you some good linemen. Yes, sir. That's what you need to do. Um. So you think you you fit for being a quarterback? Yes, sir. Okay. Which one you like better? Mm. You don't have to pick on the outside of the line, but. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. About talking about neck and neck. Yeah, probably neck and neck. Neck and neck. That's what's up, man. Um, so um, outside the line podcast is um, like I said, we talk outside of uh, the lines and also talk um, within the lines. Once again, we're here with um, Chase Dupree, also here with um, Daniel Bennett. They played basketball for Southwest. They made it to the Elite Eight, and so we was able to. Uh, touch up on some great things tonight with them. Uh, we learned about their family, learned about, you know, their hustle, we learned about the great coach they have. Uh, we learned about the legacy of Southwest High School. Uh, we know they like iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so many things we learned tonight, right? An yes, outside sir. the line uh, podcast. But we're going to end it. We're yes, going to end it. Um, but I'm going to end it with um, one of my favorite sayings, okay? And then I'm going to get you guys to kind of speak a little bit. And then we'll go back to my favorite saying. I just want to 
bring it in real quick. So one of my favorite sayings is, wherever you are, be there. Okay. So wherever you are, be there basically means, right? If you're sitting on that bench, if you're drinking that water, if it's raining outside and you're walking down in the rain, enjoy the rain, enjoy the water. Enjoy the bench that you're sitting on. Enjoy the fact that you're on the Outside the Line podcast. Wherever you are, be there. If you're at church, you be there. If you're in school, you be there. If you're studying for a, a, a better grade, do just that. Don't do anything else. If you're signing your name on the autograph, you sign that name. You whip that pen, right? Yeah. You be the best you can ever be. So wherever you are, be there, all right? So after and you learn this, Chase. Um, after each uh, training workout, I would say wherever you are, and my athletes would say be there. Mm -hmm. So I want y'all guys to do it with me tonight, okay? Wherever you are, be there. there. You ain't say it. You ain't say it. Come on, dang it. Come on. Wherever you are, be, be there. Be there. Usually they say it a little bit louder than that. So mm -hmm. I think I want one more time. That that was kind of like real low, man, for Southwest anyway. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I walked through the same halls. <laughs> Come on. Wherever you are, be man. there. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So we're gonna end it like this. We're gonna end it like this. Uh, we'll let the young young fella go first this time. Tell um uh tell tell the community, tell us what they're going to expect from Chase and what can you uh, what kind of advice you can give to the young kids that are growing up. Who's looking at Chase and saying, "Hey, I want to be like Chase." You know, whether it's academics, whether it's uh, on the basketball court or the football court, like tell them exactly um, what they should do, uh, uh, how to get better in life. Uh, you gotta get better in life. You have to. You gotta uh, face life. You gotta face adversity. You gotta accept it. And you, like as I always say, you gotta take the risk to beat the odds. That's mm -hmm. one of my best meanings. Um, say that again. Take the risk to beat the odds. Take the risk to beat the odds. Uh, I love that. The little boy growing up, uh, don't let people uh, get down. Don't let them. It's, it's always gonna be haters. Uh, somebody told me, uh, it was not haters. You know, you ain't, you ain't doing, you ain't mm -hmm. doing something right. So you need you need a few haters out there. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Um, man, I love that. Good stuff. What do you have? What do you have, Daniel? I mean, what are you going to tell the community? Uh, some exciting, some inspirational to tell them. Uh, so we can get out of here, man. Uh, I just got to say to uh, just keep going. You know, uh, no matter what, you know, there's people that's going to be out there that's going to try to stop you, that's going to try to get in your way. Uh, you got to find a way to get around that and keep going. Just try to be better. Wow. Keep going. And so I heard that. How it's supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to hear. Keep going. Like some people will move, but they're not keeping they're going. Gone. They're not going. They're just moving. Like turtles move, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But horses can keep going. Yes, right? You need to gallop and move. All right. Yes, sir. So, um, thank you guys for um, joining Outside the Line podcast. I really appreciate it. Uh, just loving the fact that. Um, you're from Southwest High School, uh, the school I attended and been lo loving on for years. I'm um, going to follow you, especially you, Chase. I'm going to look you up, too, um, for the next few years and see what's up. That's all right. right. Mm -hmm. So thank you all for joining Outside the Line podcast. Thank you, sir. Okay. One more time, wherever you are. Be there.